Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch, third and fourth generation, as well as the first generation iPad on iOS 4.3.3. This is just the same exact version of Red Snow that I used last time and that I showed you guys how to jailbreak with in iOS 4.3.2. Now the only difference is, again, we are using it for iOS 4.3.3. 3.3 instead and basically Apple did not patch the exploit so that is why we can actually use it. This actually is a tethered jailbreak. I'm going to just show you guys how to do it. You will have to download all of the links that I have down below in the more info and actually it will be on a, another website and I'll have that website down below which is again my website besttechinfo.com and uh, written instructions will also be there. So what you're going to do is just simply open up Red Snow. Now once Red Snow is opened up, you're going to have to browse for your firmware. Now in order to actually do this, you're uh, going to have to point it at your device's firmware for 4.3.2, not 4.3.3, even though your device is on 4.3.3. And the reason why you're going to have to do that is because Red Snow has not been updated to successfully identify 4.3.3, but it can still jailbreak it just by pointing it at the 4.3.3. 0.2 IPSW to patch it. So just hit open and then it will process your firmware. And now that it's processed, we can hit next and it will prepare the jailbreak data. While it's doing that, which won't take long, I'm just going to show you guys that I am indeed on iOS 4.3.3. So as you can see right there where it says version, I'm on 4.3.3. And again, I'm going to show you guys that I do have an iPod Touch 4th generation. And you can tell because A, I have a camera on the front, B, I have FaceTime, C, I have the camera app, and D, I have the camera on the back as well. We're going to go ahead and just check off install Cydia and whatever else you want. So I'm going to also have enable battery percentage and allow boot animation, which basically is just customized animated boot logos. What you're going to do from here is just hit next, and it's telling you that you will have to be in DFU mode. We're going to go ahead and do that ahead of time. The way we do this is just by holding down the home and power button together and we're going to do this for a total of 10 seconds. Now once this 10 seconds is up let go of the power button and continue holding the home button and you're going to hold it for about 15 seconds. Now you will not notice any difference in the screen it will just stay black that is okay that is DFU mode so once you know you're in DFU mode you can then hit next and it will bypass the screen where it tells you how to enter it and then it will just go on to actually jailbreaking your device. Alright, so it's downloading the jailbreak data right now. And now it's just running through the Lime Rain exploit. Alright, now that it's finished, it's just basically going through the jailbreaking process right here. And I will just be back. I'm going to go ahead and cut this part out because it can take a while. Alright, so it just finished and now it is powering back on. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this part out as well. And I'm going to resume the video when it has successfully booted. Alright, there we go. So now it's up. This actually is a tethered jailbreak. So what that means is that when you try and open up Cydia, it will basically just crash. So what you're going to do when this happens is you're going to have to plug in your device and you're going to have to rerun Red Snow. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do Just Boot Tethered Now. So I'm going to walk you guys through how to do that right now. Open up Red Snow again. We're still going to select iOS 4.3.2 because again, Red Snow has not been updated to support iOS 4.3.3 yet. So once you've done that, instead of having install Cydia checked, what you're going to to do is you're going to go to just boot tethered right now. You're just going to go next, next, and you can enter DFU mode. So again, to enter DFU mode, hold down the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. And then what you can do is you can click next and it should instantly bypass that screen. So as you can see, it is exploiting my iPod touch with Lime Rain right now. All right, so here we go, now it is booting up. Here we go, it has booted back up, and 
As you can see, Cydia is completely normal now, and Safari does work. Now I'm going to show you guys that Cydia does work. So in order to do that, obviously, I'm just going to open up Cydia, and it does work. So I'm just going to connect to my Wi-Fi network here really quick. It's asking me what type of user I am, and now it is basically just downloading everything and refreshing Cydia. And again, it does work. So I'm going to scroll down in Cydia and show you guys that I am on iOS 4.3.3 on Cydia 1.1.1. So at the bottom, iPod Touch 4G, iOS 4.3.3, Cydia 1.1.1. So I hope you guys like this video. If it helped you out at all, please remember to rate it up. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And you can also, again, favorite this video if you liked it and it helped you out. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.